Okay, now recording for Illuma machines, software, and then um, we already pre-scanned the patient's sinolung. And this is what happens um, when we, um, after the scan, everything is on file. So, what is this, Mike? Well, that was a picture, that was an image that uh, Sino took you. Go to the you know, reconstruction, <laughs> up on the reconstruction. This one? No, the one that says reconstruction. Yeah, that one right there. Okay. So you have to click on the purple arrow to open it. Okay. Click on the purple to open it. Read only. So, we open the read only. So it's loading. Hmm, how come it's so So the display loading. Okay. So this is a screen after the patient got scanned. Okay. So we start from the right hand side button on the right upper corner explorer. So if I click on that. That's what you're in already. Okay. So this screen is for the explorer. So what do you do with this explorer? You can move, you move, you're moving going through the different slices now. Mm -hmm. You notice how you're changing, you're moving it to different, each screen changes. Okay. So you see the head on the right hand side? It's where the head turns. But when I move here, the head on the right hand side doesn't turn. No, because you're not moving. The only one you can move is the three dimensional. All you're doing is going through the slices now with that, with those views. Slices. Okay, what part of this is, am I looking at? Well, it's, you're, cha it, you're changing, that's a, yes, that's the coronal view, the sagittal view, mm -hmm. and then axial view. Excellent. What does coronal view mean? Coronal, that's, you're looking straight at the face this way. Sagittal means you're okay. looking at the side. Okay. And axial means you're looking from the bottom. From the bottom. From the cheek. From the side. This is actually in the front. So this is the nose. Supposingly. Okay. And then what's this one? It's a light, light box. box. If you roll the mouse wheel, you can go through the slices. See how you're going through the different slices? So I, I move the light. You move this. You can actually change. Mm -hmm. Why do I need light? Actually, I don't need that. So, um, why do I need this? So, like nine, nine of them. Actually, you can change it up here, <laughs> click the mailbox, and then move it out. You can as many as you want? Yeah. Or you, I think the minimum you can have is two, I think. Okay. And it does the same feature if you roll the wheel, it goes through. So this is like, you can do like a 600 some slides. You go through all the slices, mm -hmm. yes. And so this is from the bottom? Yes, and the different tabs are on the side, at the mm -hmm. top up there. There's a mm -hmm. coronal sagittal. Mm -hmm. So I can actually see the teeth. If I just want to see one... You can't do just one. I think it has to be two. I think two to four. And there's, you can change the view also from there. Oh, I see. So this from the bottom, this one is from the side, this one is from the front. Okay. And if you 
put an arrow right here. It gives okay. you all your your same functions. Same functions over here. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Same function at, on the left hand side. Same function at the left hand side. Okay. So let's go over some functions. This one is just what we are. This one is to measure. Double click at the end. Mm -hmm. and double click at the end, it stay there. Okay, cool. you hit that, you hit that X over there, clear it out. Okay, so if I hit. Oh, so it. they don't have it. Okay. Hit this one to cancel. Okay. Mm, this one is also a measurement. What's a different measurement? Mm, one looks like a ruler. Okay. This one to cancel. What's this one? It tells if you hold the if you hold it over. It's, mm -hmm. See, it tells you it's like a little. Now click again. Mm -hmm. Click once. Now click and move it up this way, so you can you can double click. Uh, and then double click, like you can do like this, and then the, you can have all the different shape of movement. Okay. And if you so hold, let's say it's, if you want to have um, this is the teeth, the part, the the mouth, right? See by doing that, you when you hold that air, mm -hmm. look like. So if I do this, just click once. You can drag it out once you clicked. You re re uh, set out. Okay. Click once. Click once. Move it. Click once. Click once. Then move it again. Click once. And it tells you, you X says out. If you put your arrow over here, if you put it over, it tells you what what that does. Okay. It's, it's that's the best part about it. It tells okay. you. So what's this one? It's great. Create oh. profile. Mm -hmm. And you draw, basically just draw a straight line across there. Mm -hmm. uh, go across the bone. There you go. Go across the bone. There you go. And just if you double click here, it gives you the profile. Mm -hmm. Those are Hounsfield units. What's this? That's Hounsfield units. What's that's that? Bone density, that's bone what density. You can actually tell the bone density like using by this one. That's what that's for. Okay. And what about this one? Pre A. Region of interest. It's the same thing. It's a profile, but it's a region of interest. You make like a circle, actually. I click once, and then you, there you go. Double click. Mm. The status. So you can see the minimum, maximum, average, and standard. Standard. And then um, this one is also a measurement. Just click once and then move it.
need to just double, double click 